All right, just a couple things before we get started. First, this is not a review of any of these knives. It's not even truly a preview of these knives. It's more of a public service announcement. None of these knives have been released to the public for sale yet. And that's the reason why I'm bringing this video to you now. I wanted to give you some advance warning of when these knives will go on sale so that you can plan for that if, of course, you're interested in purchasing one of these knives. So the other thing that's special about these knives is that they are all made by my friend friend Alex at Aurora Borealis Knives in, in Quebec, Canada. The last one I'm going to show you is extra special because this is a knife that both Alex and I worked on together. All right, let's get started. So the first knife I'm going to show you is a generation two of the Forester. This is one of the knives that Alex designed. It's a bushcraft style knife with a Scandi grind and uh, great, you know, I reviewed it. If you're interested, you can go back and see that review. So this is generation two with just a few changes, a few improvements on it. So let me show you. There are actually two knives here that I'm going to show you. So of course, Vic does his Kydex to perfection over at Work Tough Gear Knives. Very good looking, of course, but it's all about the knife that we want to do. So this is the Forrester in Scandi. It looks almost identical to the original one. The only differences are, one, the handle material. This is a smoother type of micarta, and I actually quite like this. It feels really great in the hand. This one has thumb scallops, where the original did not have thumb scallops. They work perfect for grip in any direction. Actually, very, very nice. As you can see, it is a full Scandi, but it does have a micro bevel on it. And uh, it is made from SK85 steel. Uh, it's The only other thing I can see that's different about it is it is one millimeter or one half millimeter <laughs> thicker stock. Well, when I get to the review, I'll actually compare it against the original. So that's knife number one. Let me put that one away. All right, knife number two is another variation on the Forester, and I really like that one. In fact, this is the one I set up with the belt loop that Vic sent me so that I could carry it in the woods today. I can see myself using this one a lot. So there it is in the sheath with the belt loop attached. Handle material is different in the colors, but otherwise the same. That nice smooth, when I say smooth, I don't mean slippery smooth. I mean, still texture to it, still grippy, but just not the bumpy that some of the other offerings have. Still has the thumb ramps, but the big difference, of course, is this is in a saber grind. Nice, high saber grind. I think this is going to be a very versatile knife. You can probably see if you look close. I've already started using it, started batoning wood with it, started doing a little bit of carving with it. Oh, yeah, this, this one is a real keeper. I put my little piece of lanyard on it, of course, as I always do. What a nice knife this one is. I think this is going to be a general all-purpose knife that a lot of people will like, that will do the jobs of slicing and food preparation. But because it is only a partial saber grind, not a full flat grind, high saber that it is, it still retains a lot of the strength, especially towards the tip that the Scandi ground knife w would do. Great all-round knife, belt knife, hunting knife, bushcraft knife, whatever else you want to call it. It's not quite a camp knife. It's a little bit small for that. The next one is a little bit bigger. All right, so let's put this one away. Okay, the third design that I'm going to share with you from Alex is something different. Uh, when Alex asked if I'd be interested in taking a look at it, I couldn't see a lot of practicality for it, but I did think it would be fun, so I agreed to it. And you know what? It may actually turn out to be more practical than you would think. A spearhead. This is made from some of the steel cutoffs that come from some of the other knives in the production. And uh, Alex thought, well, why don't we use that and see if we can't do something with it? So he designed this, gave the design to Vic, and Vic agreed to it. Very simple little spearhead, double-edged both ways, quite thick as you can see. I'm going to say four millimeters thickness. Uh, sharp. It's sharp. This is nothing dull about this on the edges. And it comes in a nice little Kide X sheath that can be set up for neck carry as I have it here with just a little tiny bit of paracord on it. Um, I suppose you could use this as a small neck knife carefully because it is double-edged, but you could do that. You could put a little tiny piece of wood on this quite easily. There are a couple hand holes on it if you wanted to mount it or just tie it up with some, uh, some uh, paracord. Might be a good idea to do that. Tie it or wrap the handle with paracord. Then you'd have the paracord attached to it if you wanted to attach it to a staff. And that's what I'm going to do with it. Just for the fun of it, I am going to attach this and make a spear out of it. Practicality, that's not the point. That's the point is the fun. And you know what? Some people may actually see this as something that is quite practical and worth having. 
It's a good little neck knife if it's nothing else. One more knife I want to share with you, and this one truly is special. And the reason is this is a design that I have been working on with Alex at Aurora Borealis Knives for four or five months. And now, credit where credit is due, this is Alex's design, not mine. My input was just the motivation for the design. I suggested it to Alex one day. He liked it so much, he just ran with it. So after that, it was just my tossing some ideas back and forth. But the credit is entirely Alex's. I'd like to introduce to you the Voyageur from Work Tough Gear, designed by Alex at Aurora Borealis Knives. This is a modern interpretation of the classic French trade knife made famous by the voyageurs who opened up Canada, trading with the First Nations people for pelts or whatever. This is the knife that they had with them. This is the knife they traded with with those First Nations people. It's a classic. It's a do-all knife. This is the knife that you would carry with you that would handle all of the tasks short of something an axe was needed for. This is the knife you use for butchering your game. This is the knife you did for food preparation around the camp. You can do fire prep with this. Small pieces of wood can be cut up very, very easily with this. And if needed, it could become a self-defense weapon. It's a design that has stood the test of time for sure. It's just, while well, it looks perfect, it really does. And now I'm biased, I'll admit that, because I had some input on the design, but uh, I think this is really going to turn out to be one of those real classic knives from Work Tough Gear. All right. I'm not going to say anything more about the knife, but let me just talk about the release dates for all of these knives. So the Foresters, they are going to be released for sale by Work Tough Gear on April 10th. The uh, Voyager on April 17th. I'll put that information in the video description because it's important. Now here's what you need to do. If you are, have not purchased from Work Tough Gear before, you need to know that you've got to be on the button. you got to be ready to hit the enter key and when they go on sale because there'll be people all over North America doing exactly the same thing. you got to be there for the time that these things are released and hit purchase right away if you want one, at least one of the first run of these knives. Now, they're, they're going to come back into production after they're sold out, but if you want to get ahead of the game, be one of the first people to own one of these knives, then you got to be ready for it. Now, I'm going to leave the links to these knives in the video description below so that you can anticipate it and get ready for it. I'm also going to leave some links to some other sellers of Work Tough Gear knives that um, after the Work Tough Gear sells out, Quite often, they're still available through these other sellers. So just in case you missed the first one. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, I'm also going to leave a link to the Facebook, gr Facebook group, Work Tough Gear Adventure Team. I think I've got that right. Uh, just so you can get a sense of the community that's built around Work Tough Gear Knives. I think it's worth taking a look at. You'll understand why there is such a passion for the purchase of these knives. Don't miss out on this one, folks. This one is an instant classic without doubt. All right. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comments section below. As I mentioned, I'll put all the information I have regarding these knives in the video description. Until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.